Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So the new update basically just hit and I'm going to be taking a look at the the update notes um, as well as doing everything I need to do daily. So hmm, I'm starting to lose my voice here. Actually pretty weird. Uh, but anyways, they, they made a few just minor changes I think. Not not really a lot of changes. Um, the Cossack, the, the dude that pops up and gives you more gold. It now gives you has a chance to give you enchanting scrolls and small dagger pouches um, when you actually fight them. Besides gold, which is could be nice. I'm not I'm not sure too sure about that. Um, <coughs> improve the maximum guild e exp. So basically, they I think they lowered guild exp. Just donation dagger consumption. Guild wars has been improved. So basically, um, guilds level faster now. So meaning guilds can participate in, in things sooner. Um, new pets will be added, the Rogan and Duke, Duke the pill, I'll, I'll take a look at those monsters very soon as well. Um, the sweep tickets also available to, to purchase and you can purchase the sweep tickets. Um, wait, you can buy sweep tickets now? It might be worth buying, I actually sweep quite a lot because I'm, I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> wider range of swappable soul stones. Oh yeah, this is really nice. I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, basically, there's like more pieces now that you can buy from the shop. I'm actually legit starting to lose my voice. I have no idea why. Changes. Some of packages. The number of times purchased starter package will be reset. Or will accept packages reset. All right, all right, that's 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 nothing. Um, they added new packs as well, so I'll, I'll take a look at that. As well. So first things first, let's take a look at the new two new monsters, which is probably the most exciting thing about this update. Um, the Duke and the Rifleman. So the Rifleman's a natural natural two star. He has oh shit, he's an armor breaker. Holy shit, dude! I want him. I want him right now. Eighty percent armor breaker. Attacks enemies with CC attacks first, and deals bonus damage. Bonus damage for enemies that have CC effects. Target self increases own physical damage and crit rate when ally dies in battle. Only when ally dies in battle. But yeah, I think this alone makes him makes him good enough to to use in a raid team. All right, he's the last guy I need on my raid team for my full armor break raid comp. Um. Alright, so that's it, no skins. He's basically an armor breaker, and he has a special effect that um, gives him bonus shit when his allies die. Recovers his own HP and decreases the morale of enemies within the king's authority. So basically, I think he debuffs everyone. He heals himself for 20% of his max HP, and he debuffs everyone. Okay. Heals and removes debuffs on allies, recovers additional HP on allies upon recovering... Wait, recover... Is he a tank? Oh no, he's a magical tank. Bonus removes debuffs. So he's a tanky monster. He's a tanky healer, basically. When a random... When an ally is killed, he regains skill gauge. Dang, he's actually really strong. Definitely want this monster. Take a look at his skins as well. Basically, just uh, changing around his colors. But yeah, I think I think he's definitely worth getting if you if you could if you could get him, <laughs> or if you if you if you're lucky enough to get him, he's he's worth uh, using. I mean, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the two new monsters. They they made a few changes to the the Soulstone shop. I think this is a pretty big change because I, I got three Adele pieces today because of this change. Um, basically, there's there's more stuff to purchase in the shop now, as well as there's chances to get like three or up to five pieces um, per purchase, which is really good. So it, you're you're gonna be able to get um, the monster you want you want a little bit easier. Um, I think the the last changes to the packages. This is a little bit worrisome. Like this is. Um, 
This might make it so like player pay to win players get really really far ahead. It's gonna be very very hard to stay in top 100 now, especially if, if if a lot of people buy these, because they're gonna be able to get their monsters to gold. And with the next update, there's gonna be gold plus one, which means there's gonna be a si significant gold difference or not gold difference stat difference between your monsters and the people that buy this pack um, for about like you know one or two months or so. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit hard for for people that are free to play or people that don't really buy this to, to keep up um, which is a little bit worrying for me but it's it's whatever like I I play this game pretty casual now I, I don't even make it to top 100 anymore um, I basically I spot I stopped spending I've just been waiting for to see if they they actually do bring the game back to life and so far I I I'm still having fun playing but I'm just not um, not as interested in, as being like super competitive anymore. So yeah, that's 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 pretty much it for the new update. Um, all right, time to do time to do whatever I do daily. Oh, the 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 elder and the cocktrees event is over. T t yesterday was the last day. It's a little bit sad. All right, but it's it's still okay. I mean. Wait, can I use double armor break against them? Oh yeah, why was I using Olga instead of Arin? Or was I not able to bring Arin? Yeah, so the, all the events are over now. I do, I did reach my goal of getting um, 10 million gold, as you as you have seen before. So you're gonna you're gonna see that video of me um, doing a mass gold summon very very soon and opening all the boxes. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sick. Um, but anyways, I'm I'm just gonna I'm probably going to finish what I, everything I do daily and then either today or tomorrow I'm gonna do that mass summon where I when I pull like you know pretty much everything from from my box. Alright, that was, that was pretty fast. I'm a little bit relieved that the event is actually over, because it was pretty insane for the past few days. I've been farming like crazy, like literally non-stop, like I, I couldn't stop farming because because of the event. And the the Lydia's Red Knight system isn't made to, to auto-farm, like it's not, it's not uh... It's not like Summoner's War or, or Monster Super League where you can farm the same level over and over and over, like just non-stop. You have to actually look at like which, um, you know, which pieces that you want, or like transmute materials, which um, transmute materials you need to, to raise certain monsters and stuff. And you can't really just stay in the same level and then just repeat the process for like, you know, hours on end. Um, but yeah, I think... I think all in all it was pretty good. It was it was a really nice event being able to get so much gold. And I'm going to be using all that gold to to do my my mass summoning very very soon. Um, the unfortunate thing is I wasn't able to use up all my daggers during the event. I actually had pretty much like too mu too many daggers saved up. Um, but I think it's a good thing because I I'll have time to just slowly play the game. I won't be able to, you know, I won't be like super competitive. It it might be worth it for me to just, um, you know, use as much daggers as possible. Because I, I have so much here, like, I think there's over, like, 2,000 daggers here, right? It's 150, so basically, times 10. Yeah, this is already 1,500 daggers. Like, 1,500 daggers here, I have, I have like, probably over 3,000 daggers, and there are still... So yeah, that's, that's actually quite a lot. Um, did I did I finish time surf? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, let's go in the Tower of Insolence. Um, I think it's I think it's time to get the Zombie Lord. Time to get that Zombie Lord. I I've waited. Oh wait, I already have the Eyeball Dude. Yeah, Zombie Lord has has some pretty nice skills. But I'm basically just getting him to complete a few destinies. 
I mean, overall, it's it's pretty much free, right? The Destiny system for monsters is pretty much free. Like you, you just do a few things with them, um, attain certain monsters, and then you'll complete destinies for for random monsters. So I think it's always worth it to to try to to try to get monsters to complete your destiny. Oh man, I'm starting to feel tired. My sleep schedule is so fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up my sleep schedule during the New Year's again. Definitely gonna gonna get get it back to normal soon. Wait, why is this song on my playlist? I should remove that one. Please drop something. Please drop something. Yes. All right. Oh, I forgot to check how many pieces I still need. Oh wait, no, I wasn't right. It was 39. I think that vampire just really didn't like me. It's so much easier getting everybody else besides that vampire. Nice, nice. He's out again. All right, so I I thought of um, I thought long and hard. I should probably start still start stacking tanks because it's it's still the stable way to win ten v ten. Um, but the the problem is it's it's got like some a lot of other players are probably gonna have a lot stronger monsters than me, so it's gonna be it's gonna be harder and harder for me to to keep up. I think if I don't if I don't like you know spend and shit, but I just I, I just don't feel like it right now. I just feel like um I don't know. I, I still have I still have doubts about the server surviving. I but I. That's that's kind of why I don't want to spend, but I, I still really do enjoy playing this game. I think maybe if they make like an NA server in the future, I might I might just go there and play instead. Like I I'd probably be willing to start over on an NA server um, if they do make one in the future. So I do think a lot of people are probably going to be playing on there, and when like by probably by that time they they would have uh, fixed all the problems in the game. But I'm. I'm kind of just doing it right now just to, you know, for for YouTube as well, like just to um, keep making content for this game, so I'm still playing on the server. And it's still pretty fun, like it still feels pretty rewarding um, whenever whenever I get all these like new monsters and stuff. And um, you know, when they release new events and then I, I participate in the events and get free shit. Still feels pretty good. But I'm just I'm just chilling now. I'm not like hardcore anymore. I'm just I'm just chill. Is he gonna drop anything? It would be perfect if he dropped one more. I'm, I'd I'd get three pieces in one day. Nope. It was still not bad though. And I don't really care if I have a piece, like if I have a ticket left over, because I, I um, I don't need it. I'm already at floor 60.
Yeah, I'll grab them later. Fuck it. All right, time to time to open my boxes. Um, do the free summon and open open the last of my uh, New Year's event boxes. Oh yes, nice. What a rabbit. The rabbit's pretty important because he's he's the um, the rival for Adele. So eventually, at some point, like if I want to max out Adele, I need to six star that rabbit as well. Wait, what, where the fuck was I clicking? All right, not 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 you. Um, all right, this is the last of the pure potion chests. I don't I don't think these give anything. They, these only give you pure potions. But I do have two more um, Cocktrees boxes and two more Elder boxes that I can open. They're, they're the last of the event boxes. So I'll open these ones first and then I'll open those. No luck. Oh, give me a, some epic drop. Alright. Oh, not bad. 40 daggers. Oh, give me some pieces. They, these actually have have a chance to give you some good monsters, but you know, I've I've actually been able to get some diamonds from these as well. Oh, nice! I got five cursed soul stones. Actually, sweet. All right, so that's pretty much it um, for for today's daily whatever <laughs> that I've been doing. I think there's a raid out. If there's a raid out, I'll do the raid. I think I already did, did my raid. Alright, anyways, um, I'm going to be making a channel update video very soon, so if you see this video, um, the channel update video is probably going to be following that, and I'm going to just talk a little bit about what I what I plan to do um, for, for this channel. Planning on trying to bring in a few more games to play at the same time, because just, like, there's... Content is a little bit limited, I think. Um, there's not a lot I can I can do in, in these games where, where I'm just farming and stuff. But if I have more games to play at the same time, it'll be it'll be a little bit easier. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.